The Glasgow Coma Scale is often referred to as a patient's GCS score. There are three main areas of assessment that comprise the score. Thus, the lowest score you can give a patient is a three, and that score is reserved for patients who are dead or in a coma. The highest score a patient can get is a 15, and this is a score that the majority of your patients will have when you go in and assess them. Eyes are the first area that you assess. They can rate from a one to a four. If a patient is able to open their eyes when you come into the room, then they get a four. If they keep falling asleep when you stop talking or in the middle of them talking to you, then they just get a three. If they won't open their eyes when you talk to them, but will open them to a sternal rub, give them a two. If they don't budge for anything, then you just give them a one. The next thing you're gonna assess on a patient's GCS is their verbal response, which is weighted, rated from one to five. If the patient is oriented to person, place, time, and situation, you give them a five. If they're talking to you, but they think that it's 1984, then they get a four to denote their confusion, but you give them a nice high five for picking such an awesome year. If they keep asking for a glass of bird or want, would like to eat some remote controls, you give them a three for inappropriate words. If they make no noises, but no words come out and they're not an infant, then you just give them a two. No verbal response gets a one. The last thing you assess in the GCS is the motor response from a one to a six. Patients who follow commands get a six. A five is for patients who can feel and react to localized pain. Four is reserved for people whose only purposeful movement is away from pain. Three is for decorticate posturing. Two is for decerebrate posturing. And you guessed it, you give a one to those who show no response.